Last time we did pedicure, today we're gonna do manicure. Um, learned a lot from the feet. <laughs> um, doing the manicure for the first time, it's definitely challenging. So that's why I figured I'll do my pedicure first, the way I learn something and um, don't repeat the mistakes. And it'll just give me also um, a chance to actually practice and see how things are going. If you're new here, I am no esthetician. I am no um, trained uh, person. <laughs> I'm not trained in this. I'm not telling you to go out and buy it. This is my experience with it. This is what works for me. Um, so I just want you to keep that in mind that we're all different and what works for me might not work for you and vice versa. So keep that in mind as you watch these types of videos, mine or someone else's, that things might not be the same for you or for someone else, or it might be better for you than it is for me. So uh, just because it doesn't work for me doesn't mean it's not gonna work for you. And just because it works for me doesn't mean it's gonna work for you too. So. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get into the manicure. I'm gonna try to speed up as I do the cleanup and all that. If you wanna skip through it, skip through it. I'm gonna name the chapters so that you can actually go through the parts that interest you the most. Um, keep in mind things take longer. So don't think that it's gonna be just as little as it's taking me because I might cut things off so that you don't sit there and see me just do it over and over. So with that in mind, uh, we're gonna get to the um, actual demo, but um, you're not gonna see my face anymore. You're just gonna see my hands uh, and everything else that's happening there. So it would be kind of hard to capture both and I'm no professional, so, <laughs> so yeah. Let's just get into the demo. Remember to use the alcohol swab or little pad with no lint, hopefully. That's not gonna leave lint on. My nails are quite damaged. So it seems like there's a bunch of lint that is catching on, but we're just gonna go over that. Um, make sure they dry before you start. I have the lamp right here, ready to go. And uh, you might not see the lights as they go, but you're gonna see my hands going in through. So I have um, picked, I picked the one that I love the most and that's the, um, what is that? Fruit Love. Fuji? Fuji Love. <laughs> so I had picked Fuji Love. It's a beautiful fall color, winter too, but it's really, really beautiful. It's like a wine color almost. Very, very nice. So I'm gonna start with the base coat, of course. I'm gonna start with the base coat. And we're gonna do two coats of the color. The base coat, is for 10 seconds the cycle which is amazing which means we're gonna be done faster i forgot to get my little pick so remember to actually go around the edges which i didn't do with the other one i forgot so let's do that and and nothing i lost it i lost my train of thought Thin coats is the best, especially as you just start. You don't want a lot of build up there. And try to stay away from your skin as much as possible. When you go down on your nail, make sure you kind of press a bit on it so that it really gets into, into the nice nails. I'm gonna keep them in for 10 seconds. They have a, a button just for that and it actually blinks. I thought it was broken. <laughs> so I called them up. Uh, and they did say that it's supposed to blink, but I didn't believe them. Okay, it is all done. It is gonna be sticky. That's the tricky thing. I thought that it was broken because it was still sticky and it was dull as I would press down, but no, it just it was normal as I learn. All right, so now Fuji Love. Let's start with the little one. Can you see? Hold on. 
Let's try that. I made a T that I am just kicking with my elbow. I hope I'm not gonna <laughs> spill it. I do not wanna spill my tea. It's actually quite delicious. That's one coat. I forgot my little picker. The color is quite thick. So, yeah. I'm not an expert. I'm just starting with gel nails. So I'm just learning as I go. So you're either learning with me or you're laughing at me right now. Which one is it? Okay. Feels like there's a bunch of build up on the side there. So I'm gonna go over again. What I like about the gel ones is that you don't have to worry about them drying while you fix things and you can go back with it, edit, if something's weird and just redo because it is not dry. So that's a plus. Unlike regular polishes, you know. Okay, I think that's actually quite nice. And then, see, everything sticks to it if <laughs> if it's not all the way down curated. So you gotta watch where you put your hands or nails so you don't pick up dog hair or fuzzes or lint or whatever. I feel like there's a little more on that side that I did not cover. Let's go back at it right here. Yeah. Much better. Alright. Did I touch? Shoot him, Abuda. I touched. At least it's not cured yet. Alright. We're in business. Okay, so now one minute. It says to put it on 2S. That's for shellac only. And it takes one minute. Cheers with some tea. Okay, first coat is done. Looking really nice. Okay, it actually looks lighter in camera than it is in, in real life for whatever reason. Okay, let's not show that ones because those ones are not pretty. All right, second coat. Here we go. It actually does not even look like it needs two coats. I'm going to put it on because usually two coats is what it's needed. Some of them, even three, if it's really light, they're really sheer and light. Like, I have some. It's really pretty. They're really pretty. But I'm not using those now. I'm using this one. Okay, so let's put the top coat on from Shellac. From CND. Not Shellac. <laughs> Shellac is the product.
Okay, and now we're just gonna wipe with the uh, pre-moistened um, whatever you have in alcohol. So it's not sticky, it takes the stickiness off. And here we have it. Oh, nice. Really nice. This is so cute. All right, I hope that it lasts. Do we dare? Do we dare to do the comparison? Yeah, not so much. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the rest of the, the other hand. I'm gonna do the other hand and then we'll cure it as well. Second coat now. All right, and now we need the top coat. Okay, and now it's all done. All right, let's look at them now and see how they look. Really shiny. I think they look really pretty. Especially for the first time. I feel like these ones do look nicer than this one. So like like these ones I can feel, not feel, but I can see that there's a little more material. Well, polish. <laughs> there's more polished product on it some places. Not as smooth as these ones are. And of course that is because I'm right-handed. So this one does a better job on there than this one does on here. <laughs> So yeah, plus I really couldn't turn because I wanted to you to be able to see good. So I did hope I hope that you did see good. I could have cleaned up a little more. I definitely could have cleaned up a bit more. Okay, this is not sticky, so that's good. A little fuzz here. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed these, and if you were like having troubles with the lamp, it's just because it's meant to do that. <laughs> I didn't know that and I had to call them up. Yeah. So anyways, I will let you know how things go and I'll see um, how long these last. I'm excited to see. I hope they last for two weeks. I really hope so. But even if they last for a week with no chips, that's like I'm calling it gain because with my hands, uh, <laughs> they don't last. The last step would actually be to put some oil on. I'm gonna use this one because I have it. And uh, if you have it in a nice dispenser, that's great, but I don't. So I'm just gonna go like this and just work it around. Any kind of oil you have, body oil, cuticle oil, definitely be the best because it's designed, but you don't have to necessarily just have that. And you don't have to be an oil slick, oil slick either. <laughs> I might've put a little bit too much, but you know what? This is what we do because it's good for you. So um, this would be it because our skin around the nails definitely have been through a lot with the cleaning and the alcohol and all that scrubbing and the cutting and all that. So this definitely helps. It already soaked in. It feels really soft and um, I'll protect the nails and the cuticles and the skin around. So it's a game for everybody. Hey guys, a uh, little update on the nails. Um, it's literally one week since I've done them. And um, about three days ago, I, I'd say it started to show tear wear, kind of like these. I'm not sure if you can tell, let me see. Like you can see um, a little like lighter part on the edges is where it actually starts to separate or actually wear down the color and the seal. So funny enough, the sides are perfectly fine. So I got no, no pillage from the sides, no coming apart from the sides. The, the first one to come kind of uh, to show signs was this one, the metal one up here. And it's the one that's the worst. Um, if you can see that. And then this hand too, uh, but it's mostly so the thumbs are the ones that are the worst with the middle fingers. <laughs> For some reason, the middle finger, especially the right one, of course, the right one is um, always getting more abuse. Pretty much anybody that's uh, right-handed is gonna be right. If you're left-handed, that's gonna get abuse. Uh, the left side. So right now, 
I I'm at the point where I would like to get them done. Um, I don't really I don't I don't like them like this. Uh, I can tell that like if I I'm not sure if you can tell this, but hold on, let me see if I can do it. Uh, if I poke my my yeah, it's like there. And you can really see that it's separating. But with that said, and with it being my first time of doing it, you know, from top to bottom and all that, uh, and trying to show you in that position, um, not really, maybe not got, maybe I didn't get as good on the side, not the sides, the tips of it. I don't know. Uh, though I thought I did a good job. But even with that, I can tell you that I'm really happy with it because uh, <laughs> up until now, I have not found anything that would last this long. So I will uh, wear them until I wear them. I definitely don't have time to do it today and I don't want to do it today. Uh, I would like this to last me for two weeks. I know that a lot of people um, kind of want 10 days, but I kind of want 14. <laughs> So I want to do it on a Sunday and not do it again on the, the next until the next Sunday. But even if I get one week out of it, I consider myself lucky and happy and I'm grateful. But yeah, I want to take them to where they last me for two weeks. But we'll see if that happens. Uh, I will show you how they look like when I do take them off, which I'm trying to last have them last until Sunday. We'll see if they do. If they really start to come off, I'll have to take them off. But um, up until then, uh, this is what we're looking at. Like under that a week, I did them last week today. And yep, this is this is how they look. I mean, you can tell that my um, my cuticles have grown. Uh, they're definitely in a need of cleanup. But I'm telling you, I'm like really happy with this. It's lasting really nice and it's looking so nice. And it just looks so elegant yes the shape helps and the color does help too because it's a really pretty color for me i like it but yeah just this is just a little update on how the nails are doing and i will keep you posted with it this is the next day so it's eight days in with this manicure uh, i am gonna take it down today it's definitely took a turn for worse um you can see the flakes there it started to come off uh, the thumbs as well uh, I hope you can really see that. I'm gonna slowly go up. Um, all of them seem like they don't have much sealant on the edges, which is, you know, um, kind of normal when it happens, but uh, I was kind of hoping I'd get more. But um, at the same time, it is what it is. It's not really bad. A whole week, it's it's great. Um, but the reason I'm gonna take them off, I was gonna try to write it off until a couple more days, but um, my right hand right up here where it started to chip off, uh, <laughs> it's catching on my hair and it's because it's lifting so much. You can see I can put my finger, my, my nail underneath that kind of lifts up. So I'm not gonna, I don't want it to just tear and kind of, we can see this now. It's flaking off. See that? Just coming off. Um, I don't want to like force it and peel it off and then kind of damage the nail underneath. So I want to soak them up and take this off. Uh, let me know if you're interested to see how I take the shellac off. Um, I'm going to definitely soak it and make sure that it comes off and it's really coming off in a very interesting way. Kind of curls up it's just it's fascinating <laughs> it really is i love watching it after you take the the thing off the um, uh, foil uh it starts to crinkle up and it's kind of like i don't know it's like a one of those slow motion um delayed things where over time you see the flower bloom and all that that's kind of like this what this does but it's like right now and then you know <laughs> so anyways this is it for this manicure. The left hand does not look that bad. Uh, it has like the thumb has the most uh, chip, chips, chippy chips. Uh, very little up here. And then um, the other ones are starting a little bit like very minimal. This one and this one, the middle and the uh, ring finger. Very little in the tip there. I hope it focuses enough. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna take it off. I don't really want to damage the, the skin underneath. So I'm gonna just take it off. Plus it doesn't look nice. So yes, um, I will do another color and I'm actually excited to try a new one. So anyways, guys, I hope this helped you to see how shellac works, how it does. And this is my experience, yes. 
yours may be different you might be easier on your nails or maybe your nails hold on to better we're all different you know so take that with a grain of salt but this is my experience this is what i have experienced with and i will keep you posted i might, might come back you know do another one just to see how it looks and all that but up until then you guys take care i will see you next time